In this week's last week's gaming news, I cover my favorite announcements from Game Awards and PlayStation Experience. This will be a quick fire of news, so without further ado, it's time to roll the intro. Let's start off with the 2016 Game Awards. Our first game on the list is Halo Wars 2. Now this game was announced during E3 this year, but during the Game Award we were shown a story trailer about the game. So far the game is announced for February 21st, 2017. Their leader... His name... is Atriox. During the war, the Covenant used his clan as expendable muscle told them dying in battle would speed their holy journey and none ever returned next game on the docket for the game awards is prey prey also had an exclusive gameplay trailer and also featured some of the story aspect of the game itself so far the game is announced to be released in spring 2017 Mass Effect Andromeda is the next to pop on the list. We finally get to see the first gameplay trailer for the game itself, which features resource management, armor and weapon customization, and much more. It also features a lot of story in this game as well. So far, the game is announced to be released in March 2017. What brings a Pathfinder to our humble port? Van Terev. Name ring any bells? What's he to you? And don't lie to me. Just point me to where you're holding him and there won't be any trouble. There won't be. Drop it now! You first. Get out. Or I'll put you down. The Walking Dead A New Frontier is our next game on the list. We get an extended look at Yavi, a new character we'll be playing in The Walking Dead. It shows a bit about his family and how he get and what he's looking for in the game itself. We'll also get a look at Clementine, which is our third season in the Walking Dead series. The first episode will be released on December 20th and it will be a two-parter, so you'll get two different episodes on the 20th itself. Rafa, how is this possible? Following in the Telltale series, Guardian of the Galaxy is finally teased at the Game Award. The trailer that was shown for Guardian of the Galaxy a Telltale series only shows a teaser of what's going on in the game. It shows us a tape player which is featured in the first Guardian of the Galaxy movie, which is an iconic item that the main protagonist carries on him all the time. So far it is announced for 2017. The last game on the list that we're going to talk about for the Game Awards is Death Stranding. During the Game Awards, we get another weird trailer featuring Guillermo del Toro and Mads Mikkelsen. There's not much I can say about the trailer, but you should go see it because it's very fascinating to look at. After the teaser trailer at the Game Awards, Guillermo del Toro had this to say about Konami. Konami cancelling Silent Hill after PT is one of the most moronic things I've ever witnessed. So far, there is no release date for Death Stranding.
Now on to PlayStation Experience 2016. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite has finally been revealed during the showcase for PlayStation Experience. It shows some of the gameplay featuring Mega Man, Ryu, and many other characters from the game. So far, the release date is 2017. Our next game on the list is Parappa the Rapper. Announced during the showcase at PSX is the release of a remastered version of Parappa the Rapper, the 20th anniversary edition. It shows updated graphic and much more. If you're a fan of Parappa the Rapper, there is also a demo available right now for PS4. This is the first level of Parappa the Rapper, and older generation of PlayStation users will remember this demo from the original PlayStation Magazine CD. The game so far is announced to be released in 2017. A remastered version of Crash Bandicoot was announced during E3 this year. Now it has been confirmed to be named Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. The trailer features a comparison of the old and new game, and I have to say the new graphics look amazing compared to the old one. This game is also announced to be released in 2017. Let It Die has finally been released and it is now free for PlayStation 4. It features hack and slash gameplay and I have to say I played for about 2 hours and it's extremely fun to play. You really have to try it out and it's free so definitely go try that out. Senpai, I was waiting for you. I forgot to mention, my name is Uncle Death. <laughs> ah, those are the jackals. They are body collectors. Wanna try again? Next game on the list is Resident Evil 7. Now we were shown a new trailer for the game itself. They also featured a new and the final update for the beginning hour demo, titled the Midnight version. This is a big update coming for the demo itself and features a lot of new things that I've personally tried so far and I'm really enjoying it. So definitely go check that out, do the update and go, go try it out. So far Resident Evil 7 is announced for January 24th, 2017. It's Mia. She's not dead, she's alive. She, she's back. How long did you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. Shitty house, spooky sounds. Ooh, is it haunted? Now talking about Death Stranding during the Game Award, I also made an appearance at the PSX. Kojima Production has announced that they will be using the Dekima engine, or the Decima engine, which is a, which is a Guerrilla Games owned engine. This is a partnership made for the game Death Stranding. This was announced during the panel for Death Stranding at PSX. A new standalone Uncharted game will be coming out next year for PlayStation 4. As shown in the 8 minute trailer, you will be playing as Chloe and will also feature Nadine in the game. During a panel at PSX, it was announced that this will be a story expansion but also a standalone ex which will be available to everybody. The standalone is named Uncharted The Lost Legacy and will be released sometime in 2017. <coughs> Nowhere to run. Oh, shit! No. Back up! Go on for power! No!
You're late. I thought you were professional. Oh, you should relax. You'll live longer. And on to our final piece of news for this last week's gaming news is The Last of Us Part 2. Now so far, the game is to be announced when the release date will be. The teaser trailer features Ellie and Joel back at it again but in two older version of themselves. But this time around you will be playing as Ellie in the game. And one thing I have to say about the teaser trailer is get out of Ellie's way cause she's looking to kill a lot of people. Believe me, go look at the trailer. No, I can't walk on the path of the right cause I'm lonely. What are you doing, kiddo? You really gonna go through with this? I'm gonna find... and I'm gonna kill... every last one of them. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this week's last week's gaming news. It was a lot of rapid fire, there was two gaming events, so I really want to cover my favorite parts of it as much as I could. Sorry there wasn't as much jokes as there usually was, I didn't have the time to write that much of a script because there was so much news to write, I couldn't write a joke for every one of them, and even there I didn't think I really joked about any of them. But of course, if you enjoyed, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a like below what you thought about all the trailers and stuff like that. Definitely go check out all the trailers on the PlayStation YouTube channel and the Game Award YouTube channel. Of course, all the trailers are there and all the other games, there's like, there's probably 20 other games they announced I didn't even talk about because I didn't have the time to do all that. Like and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below what was your favorite game announcement for this year's PSX and Game Awards, and follow me everywhere at MeTimeGamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here at YouTube.com forward slash MeTimeGamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you for watching this week's last week's gaming news. I was your host, MeTimeGamer. I will see you in the next video. Keep on keeping on.